We're going to put the Fortessa from tube mode into plate mode. The first thing we need to do is change the configuration. Go to cytometer in the Diva software, view configurations. This window will come up. We are going to choose this configuration, HTS. Then set configuration. Click OK, OK. Close out of this window. Now at the top, we see that it says HTS. So in plate mode, it's called HTS, high throughput system. The next thing to do is flip the switch on the side. You want to get a close up of that. From tube mode to plate mode. Next, we go to the sit. Put the arm to the side, remove the tube of water, place in the rack. I'm going to unscrew this, uh, it's called the DCM sleeve, or droplet container module sleeve, by turning clockwise and pulling this off. We're going to store it right here below so that it doesn't get lost. Next we're going to install, this is the sit protector. It's just a shorter version of what we just removed. It is also stored right here. It just goes over the sit and you turn counterclockwise to tighten. Just finger tight. Next thing we're going to install it's called the sample coupler. It goes over the sit and tighten clockwise until it's tight. Next we're going to switch the sheath probe from regular sheath fluid over to sheath fluid with surfactant, which is recommended when you're running the HTS. We're going to take the cap off of this one. It's the white box. Remove the probe. The alarm will go off. You can silence the alarm and then hit restart. No, silence the alarm. Place it in the other tank. And then be sure and hit restart. That's very important. If you see any red lights on here, you know you've missed a step and hit restart. Every light should be green. Next, we're going to make sure that the HTS power switch is on. It is located in, in the back. We have turned it on. And the, the final step is to prime the HTS with sheath fluid. To do that, we're going to hit run. Over to the Diva software and say HTS Prime. This step can take a few minutes to get started. Once the prime is complete, repeat that step four more times. Once you've primed the HTS five times, put the instrument in standby until you're ready to run your plate. Now we're going to switch the Fortessa from plate mode or HTS mode back into tube mode. The first thing we want to do is switch the configuration. So go to cytometer, view configurations, and choose this one, CST A&M, set configuration, OK, OK, close out of this window, and we can see that it is no longer in the HTS configuration.
The next thing you want to do is move the sheath probe back to the regular sheath tank. We remove the probe from the box with surfactant, move it over to the regular sheath tank. We silence the alarm and always remember to restart no red lights over here. Replace the cap. Next we're going to, this is the uh, sheath connector, quick connect, there's a silver button. Push that silver button to release the, the sheath connect tubing. We're going to use this tubing right here that is stored here. Put it in the quick connect by pushing till it clicks and putting the other end in the DI water. Next, place the instrument in run and perform HTS prime. We want to do that five times. Once you have primed five times with the DI water, which is an important step, it leaves the, the lines full of water instead of saline to avoid salt uh, crystals build up. Next we want to remove this tubing and by moving, pushing the quick connect button, storing it here, replacing the sheath line into the quick connect. And we're going to remove the sample coupler by turning it counterclockwise. It stays right here. We're going to remove the sit protector, turn clockwise to loosen. We're going to replace it with the DCM sleeve. Goes right over the sit tighten by turning counterclockwise. Load a tube of water. Make sure that it is in standby mode. Flip the switch to tube mode. And turn off the HTS. Put the switch on the back. And now it is back in tube mode.